Yes, yes, top of the AM, top of the vitals. You know the vibes, man. You rocking out with your truly Showtime Sizzle the Sauce, man. Another start of a week. They didn't know what you carry. And they treated you like you was common. But God wanted them to treat you that way because he wanted you to see who they were. Because if they knew what he was doing for you and what you carried, they lash on. But he said, I am going to hide you in common sight. So you know who your real crew is and who the fake crew is. So you know who to take with you when I am taking you where you are going. Yes. That sounds about right. That seems about right. See, you better get some of this sauce in your life. But now it's too late now. We have been taken off. And we are going where we are going. January 15th, pop out. Turn the points. Jihad Tucker. You know the vibes, man. We are top shotters, number one hitters. Hottest in the game. Y'all seen these fights this weekend? Boys, it's boring. Boring. The sauce been telling y'all who the real deal was, especially when it comes to New York, the rotten, hating apple, but everybody knows now, everybody knows now, it's a lot of rinky-dinky gimmicks, and one thing about this sauce, it's a serious sauce business, serious sauce business, Jahai Tucker is one of the top hitters in the game, has been for a long time, but you know what it is. See, when you come from New York, man, especially when you come off the island, you're going to get all that hate, especially from the boroughs. But, you know, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. We've been beating up those from the boroughs forever, ever. It's just that they always think Long Island. When you think of Long Island, you think of money. You don't think of the hoods and the slums. But Long Island got hoods and slums, too. And one thing about our hoods and slums out here, we always had knuckle check. Always. Some of the best fighters ever come off the island. Buddy McGurk. Yes, Buddy McGurk was one of the best ever in the game. Hall of Famer. Shout out to Buddy. We just park in the building. Clarence McClain, what's going on, good brother? Top of the AM, top of the morning sauce. But yes, we got some of the best, man. And for those of y'all, man, it's COVID season. Man, tap in with that CMOS, man. Listen, man. I even reduced what I do for it now. I got four ounce jars because I know times is hard for people. So I got four ounce, five dollar jars, man. I'm not shipping those though because to ship a five dollar jar is more money to ship it. But for the locals, the five dollar nickels, what I'm calling them, five dollar nickels, see more, four ounce jars is available. You always know we got the 16 and up. You heard, get that COVID vaccine in your system. And you know, I know the COVID is back on the rise. But with that CMOS, that COVID has to hide. It's like these jive turkeys, you heard? When you have COVID rising up, you need an immune booster, all natural medicine from God, man. CMOS, 92 minerals, man. Do your own research on it. It is the sauce. Sauce on sauce. Like I said, man, this is a million-dollar company, a million-dollar brand. I am a million-dollar man. So when you see the celebrities reposting the sauce, it's only fitting. Like I said, they didn't know what you carried, and they treated you like you was common. But God wanted them to treat you that way. Because he wanted you to see who they were. I know I have been getting a lot of questions in regards to fights being made. 
Maybe I'll talk about it on the podcast, maybe not. You know, certain shit, it just, like I've been telling people, man, when you were in the game, if you know, you know, man. Like when everybody was going back and forth, that's why I don't, the, these groups, these great debaters that are constantly talking about Bud and Spence, I don't even get into those conversations no more, man. Because if you know, you know, man. But see, I'm going to say this, though. All you dudes out here talking that 70-30 shit now. If Spence captures the the WBA and Bud has that last piece and he wants to truly fight Bud now, right? He's going to have to give Bud what he wants now. See, all y'all thinking, oh, if he has all the, the belts heavy lifting. Let me tell you something, man. Half of y'all, most of y'all, all y'all. Never sat at a negotiation table, so y'all don't know. Caleb Plant is the prime example of that. See, Caleb Plant sat around and sat around, right? He had the last piece. That's why he was able to get what he got from Canelo. Because, see, Canelo really wanted that. So Canelo had to give him what he wanted. The same thing is going to happen when it comes to Spence. And Crawford, if Spence is, because I don't want to just disrespect Ugas and just say he, Spence already won. If Spence is victorious, understand what I'm saying? I think I might write a column on that, man. How's that sound, man? You know I am a decorated writer now. I might write a column on that. But I want to pose this question to y'all, man, before I get off, right? I want to um, ask y'all this, right? This is for all the Spence mites. When Jake Paul's numbers come out for his pay-per-view that he just did. Because I've seen a couple posts already about this, right? I did an article on this too yesterday. When his numbers come out and his numbers surpass 350, what does that say about him as a superstar boxer? Because you guys, I was on a couple of panels listening. You guys love to say that. Spence is a superstar, biggest star in boxing, and his highest pay per view is three fifty, which is like almost two hundred k, less than Jake Paul's lowest, lowest. So what does that say about the superstar boxers? Are they really superstar boxers, or we just have such a low? demand on what it takes to be a you know a star as far as pay-per-view star in boxing see these are the type of conversations we need to have not about 60 40 and when they're gonna fight and who's ducking no since y'all love talking numbers and see the source gives you the real real raw gives it to y'all man That's why I am where I'm at in this game, and I am respected how I am, and my brand is what it is. You understand? Because, like, unlike most of y'all, all all of y'all, we really about that business. That's why I said, man, this is serious source business, no gimmicks, no rinky-dinkies, rinky-dinkies that way. Like I said, man, salute to all the solid that repost. That, you know, have somewhat of a understanding. If you know, you know. See, half of y'all, most of y'all, all of y'all don't understand. You know, you sit back because I understand. A lot of people is not doing nothing. When you don't do nothing and you actually see somebody who is doing something, who is growing, who is building something, you don't even want to support it. You don't even want to like it. You don't even want to share it. See, that's all support. Without spending. Salute to the ones that do spend though. Because that is the true support. The true sacrifice. Because you are giving increments. Dollars. Decimals. Well some of y'all won't even like nothing. (laughs) Liking is free. Sharing is free. Word of mouth is free. See, hopefully y'all caught this sauce. If not, 
Hey, just continue to keep watching. We're going into 2022. Uh, more trips. More business trips. Yes, boxing business trips. That's what I, I call it now. So when you see me on the other side of the map, when you see me over here, when you see me in this five-star hotel, these are all business trips. These are all blessings that God has bestowing upon me. And I will continue to share it because I know it does inspire certain individuals. And that's what the source is about. Inspiring, motivating, and letting the ones that want to do it know that it is, that it's, uh, it is obtainable. Because for the ones that know my story and know how I started out and know how people try to sabotage me, people didn't want to support me. But look where I ended up. Hottest in the game. You know the vibes. 5 p.m. Eastern tapping. I am about to put this machine into gear. You know, this is a short week, man. Short, short week, man. Look, you see how I come to the plantation now? Back in the days, we were slaves, whips and chains. So nowadays, all I do is rock whips and chains. Yes, man. I come in here like the royalty I am. If you know, you know. With that said, let the source continue to flow. You know the vibes. Ah, holla.